James Patterson is an American author that holds the Guinness world record for the first person to sell a million ebooks. He also topped Forbes list of highest paid authors in 2016 for the third consecutive year, earning $95 million from his writing. In this video, I wanna break down how James Patterson does this, go into his strategy for how he writes books, how he markets his books, and in general, just see what we can learn from the highest paid author in history. I'm Alex Berman from Experiment 27. So one thing that's interesting to note about James Patterson is he was an advertising executive at J. Walter Thompson, which is a big ad firm, until 1996. So fairly recently, although he did publish his first novel in 1976. As an ad executive, James Patterson's also credited with coming up with the Toys R Us slogan, I'm a Toys R Us kid. I don't want to grow up. So this is a guy who really understands branding and he understands advertising and he leverages it in his novels. When most people think of James Patterson, they think of his recurring series and he hits these really hard. So everything from Alex Cross to Women's Murder Club, Maximum Ride, Daniel X, and Witch and Wizard are all series that have multiple books uh, in them and all hit the bestseller lists consistently. James Patterson's rule number one is attack a lot of genres. James Patterson's known for his thriller novels, right? With Alex Cross, those are a lot of mystery crime thrillers. While Witch and the Wizard is more like Twilight in the fiction, children's literature and fantasy sections, like a Harry Potter style book. And Women's Murder Club are mysteries. So those are three wildly different genres with three wildly different audiences. And he's able to attack them all consistently and have strong brands in every single one of those different genres. So how does he write so successfully across all these different genres? Is he some kind of writing superhero or something? Well, that brings us to rule number two. James Patterson's rule number two is partner and co-author as much as possible. He gets a lot of hate for this. Recently, there's an article in the Boston Globe called Patterson keeps cranking out novels, ignoring his critics and I quote, it wasn't until the 1990s that he hit his stride, publishing a book a year, then a couple a year, and now with the help of a stable of co-writers, an absurd annual output in the double digits. It's like the Boston Globe said, James Patterson is more of an author CEO. He goes out, picks his co-writing team, finds people that are gonna produce consistent quality, has them write most of the book, and then puts his name on the cover. And that James Patterson brand is what carries him through, which actually brings us to the final point, point number three. Rule number three is fully leverage your audience to buy everything that you write. James Patterson isn't the only author with a strong brand of followers that buy everything with his name on it. You've got everyone from J.K. Rowling to Stephen King to John Grisham that all have strong followings of people that guarantee that everything they release is going to be a bestseller. James Patterson is just the one who sees that he can hire other people to write the books for him, put his name on them, and as long as there's a consistent quality, people will continue to buy. He's leveraging his own name as a brand. Take some notes from James Patterson. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything about marketing from this video, and give this video a like if you wanna encourage this type of content. Sub to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. Check out Experiment 27 if you need help marketing your digital agency. I'm Alex Berman, thanks.